Hello there, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Honey Badger with Bubbler and Stand Diamond Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Today is Thursday. As you know, I live in chronic intractable pain from complex regional pain syndrome. But you know what? As much as I've got going on and as much as life is very painful and going to continue to be, unfortunately, in the short term, more painful for me. You know what? There are still ways you can stand out in a crowd. I have goose pimples saying it. There are ways to make yourself stand out in a crowd. Why not? Okay? How about this? How about we talk about some strategies to help us stand out in a crowd not wearing a clown suit? Let's discuss. Well, you want to be disciplined. Most entrepreneurs are people of impulse, and most passionate people live by feelings. But those who understand and practice the art of discipline can channel those impulses into something of substance for sure. You want to know yourself. Get feedback from others and learn as much as you can about how you come across to people. Then, and only then, can you accurately target how you appear in a crowd and what you need to work on. Be conscious. Showing up consciously means always being on time, honoring your commitments, and being prepared. Three things I live by my entire career. Nothing is more powerful than an individual acting out of a well-developed consciousness. Be confident. When you truly believe you can create what you envision, when you're not afraid of the obstacles, that confidence will automatically make you stand out from the rest. This is not stuff where you got to go raising your hand saying, I'm different. Practice listening. Learn to listen, and I mean truly listen, to work toward a deep understanding and hear what's being said beyond the words. You will then stand out in any situation if you become a person who listens from the heart. Cultivate emotional intelligence. That's right, too many otherwise smart people don't know how to manage their emotions or to relate to others well. Emotional intelligence attracts people who are looking to connect with someone who has their act together and who's competent and capable. Be responsible. Be the kind of person who responds and remembers to follow through. Most people drop the ball and don't follow up. Respond to emails, respond to calls, respond to requests, respond to inquiries as soon as you can. You will stand out as a person who respects others and who is accountable. You know how people knew me? They knew me as the guy that got back to them instantly. If it wasn't on my arm, the phone was in my ear. If it wasn't in my ear, it was in my pocket. Somehow I was going to see or hear the message from people. Lead with excellence. Let people know that quality is a core value. That everything that you do, you do with excellence. Leading with excellence prepares you to deliver high quality work and makes you stand out as a professional. Know your motives. Why? Why do you do what you do? How well do you know your purpose? your why. Knowing your motivation helps you keep going and makes you easy for others to relate to. And take responsibility seriously. Being a leader, a business person, a family person, an entrepreneur requires that you become a master at your craft. It means being confident at the things you do, constantly honing and developing your skills in every way possible. When you take yourself seriously, so do others. I was certified, I was homogenized, I was pasteurized, and I practiced and rehearsed till I was deaf in my own ear. Always be of service, if you can. You see, being useful, being helpful is an important aspect of making a great impression. Show up with a spirit of empathy and something to give. An attitude of service makes people interested in what you have to offer. And don't make it all about you. 
Few things are more boring than a self-centered person. When you met someone, make the conversation about them, not you. Be interested and engaged. Ask questions and listen carefully. These are just ways that you're going to continue to differentiate yourself from the crowd. Be kind to everyone. Lots of people are only nice to those who can do something for them. Stand out. Stand out today by treating everyone as important and interesting, even those who can do nothing for you in return. And be prepared. When an opportunity turns up, the person who's ready and able to be part, whatever needs to be happen, will always stand out. So you've got to be flexible. And be a collaborator. Don't work with your eyes down. Work with your eyes up and open. When you collaborate well, people remember how well you made them feel. And when you make people feel good around you, guess what? You stand out. Love yourself because if it has nothing to do with ego, you've got to remember that you'll stand out by being modest. Inspirations makes you stand out. A passion for life will attract others to you like a magnet. And make your life with a message. Make sure everything you do, how you show up, how you act, what you say, what you do, is truly a reflection of who you are. So your character and spirit come across in every situation. You see, might not be any such thing as a common person. If we do it right, we all have the opportunity to stand out in a crowd. If you enjoyed today's video about how to stand out in the crowd, hit that subscription button. Send a like my way, and I always respond to the comments. This has been The Real Senior Stoner. Have a great day, everybody. And remember, anyone can stand out in a crowd. Cheers. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Remember, stand out in that crowd. Cheers.